Hello and good morning and welcome to Ted Davies Artistry. Uh, happy May the 4th. Uh, may the 4th be with you. Um, I have a very, very um, interesting proposal for all of you. Uh, a good friend of mine, I like to say that, and I decided that we wanted to do a show. And we wanted to do a show to promote, um, promote you guys. But we're going to do it in a way that can get your ideas onto paper. And this is something that I think that anybody who is a Star Wars fan, that's why we're doing this May 4th. I really wanted to launch this uh, this particular show with um, this person because of his heritage and his uh, legacy that he's left uh, in the Star Wars universe. So uh, with no further ado, I want to bring on my man, John Celestri. How you doing, John? Good morning, Ted. How are you doing? I say yeah. I'm revealing yeah. where, what time we're, we're we're doing this, but it's fine. Hi, how are you doing, Ted? <laughs> very good, very, very well. And thank you, thank you, thank you for asking me to, to be part of this. Um, this is a great venture. I think that people are really going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. um, do people know just so that they know my background. If it's the first time you're tuning into Ted Davies Artistry, my background is I'm an artist author. Um, I spent uh, about 30 years in architecture prior to this uh, uh, this commitment, my passion. Um, and I'm best known for my books, uh, Retrieve and Grim 101. Um, and, you know, John, tell him your accolades, man. Uh, this, you know, go for it. This is amazing. <laughs> well, I, I've been a, a professional comic book uh, animator and comic book artist, uh, oh, since uh, the early 70s, 1970s. And I, I, I've worked on, on, on many feature films and TV specials and worked on, uh, but the, I guess right now, because of the May 4th, the May the 4th, uh, I animated the first Boba Fett in the Star Wars Holiday Special. So um, I'm part of, uh, I guess, the canon now. So, Absolutely. So, that's it. so but, but, uh, but besides that, you know, uh, that was back in the in early, uh, late 70s. But uh, since so, so we worked on um, on He Man and Shira, uh, the the, uh, the Rock and Rule feature film, um, the uh, Dragon's Lair and Space Ace video games, uh, did all kinds of uh, commercials and uh, just did, you know especially the particular Batman commercials that are still on the YouTube channel. There, mm -hmm. uh, you can go and, and see it on on on, on there and. Uh, so I'm doing comic books. I've off, I've authored and co-authored uh, crime fiction novels, and um, and there's something you know. I've been. This is what I've done for for the better part of my life, really. So uh, it's it's uh, those are the things that I have done, and so that's what I'm what I'm bringing to the table here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there you go. Um, the, the best thing about you, John, is that, and people that don't know you, you've, you've, uh, you've affected us within, within our lives. You don't, people don't realize how much of him for me. I remember when I first saw the Boba Fett, the animated thing, I was, I think eight, eight or nine when it came out. I'm just, and I was over the moon. I didn't even know who this character was, right. you know, and I was, you know, I was at star Wars. I was yeah. six years old in the, you know. Right. walking in into the movie theater with my parents my brothers and my sister um so for me it was it was so impressionable it was such a um mm -hmm. an elevating experience and that's you know even my kids now we've enjoyed star wars throughout their growing up you know mm -hmm. so your your effect on my generation not only mine but other generations as well is why i really wanted to when i when you asked me to do this i was really a, I, absolutely because I think that what you're, what you have to share, your knowledge and your experience, mm -hmm. is so vital, so vital to people that are creative, uh, that are trying to get their ideas on the paper, um, and that's why we're doing this, so right. that people know. Uh, right. Do you want to tell them the uh, title of the uh, of the show? Yes, uh, we're calling it "Feed the Beast," and why and, is it, and why is it called that? So well, it, wanna... it's called "Feed the Beast" because. All entertainment media is a beast that needs content. Without, without, without content, there is nothing. So therefore, 
the the idea of, of of feeding the beast because it's insatiable. You know, it can't just run on reruns, and it seems to be that way. But people want to have new material, and uh, it has to be uh, material that can be groundbreaking. But it but here's the funny thing about groundbreaking material: there's always a connectability to the audience. So there is something familiar about what is new. There is the thing that you know you. <laughs> There are certain things that that audiences, human beings, react to, and and they find it comfortable. But anyway, it's like your your tastes are, you know, like you know, you're you're feeding your kid, or you're mm-hmm. you're, 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 you're you get something and you eat it, you because you need something and you eat it, you taste it, and then you either are pleased by it or you spit it out. Mm-hmm. And there is the element of. You as a beast, you as an animal, media needs content. And if you don't know what the right formulas are or the recipe, let's not call it mm-hmm. formula, recipes. And you can play with the recipes, but some recipes go too wide and mm-hmm. there's not much of an audience. Uh, or they are, you know, I mean, everything is salt, fat, and sugar in all recipes. Same thing is for 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 uh, content, well, there is salt, fat, and sugar, and it's how you blend it together makes you unique. That's your thing. So, as part of feeding the beast, we're trying to. The idea is to help you understand how to what how to create these materials and use the elements where they they will. That everybody has a, has has at their disposal. How's that? Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's perfect. And that's we we wanted to once we discussed this. Um, mm-hmm. If I can be candid with the with our audience, uh, you contacted me um, probably about I don't know two months ago, probably. Yeah, we something were, around uh, that. Yeah. And um and it was a it was a very uh very easy conversation uh because it <laughs> it was something to where you you brought uh brought this this wealth of knowledge said, Hey, we need a format to share this, to hopefully Mm -hmm. inspire people to get to the point where they're getting pen to paper, Mm -hmm. getting them to the point where their, their ideas can be made into something great. Mm -hmm. Um, in a, in a comic or in a prose fashion, which I think it's really needed in today's Mm -hmm. world. Um, do you think that, do you think that this format is good for the people that are just starting out? Or do you think this is good for the seasoned person? I think it's for both. But what what do you think? Well, uh, I think uh, it's it is for both. Uh, one is that you know the people just starting out, they're trying to figure it out on their own. Okay, mm-hmm. but for also for the seasoned you know uh, person, a lot of the times the need to be reminded because. Uh, even you know, seasoned pro doesn't mean that they're going to uh, you, know, uh, you know remember certain things, you know. And and it's the best thing is constantly going back at the, to the fundamentals. It's like a ball player who's got great talent, but the, you know they manage to do all kinds of things. But fundamentally, they have to remember how to do things. I mean, the New York Mets, I'll just say this, sure. let's put an analogy, um, with uh, Buck uh, Showalter, the new uh, manager, mm-hmm. he starts every clubhouse meeting before the game starts going over the rules continually. Remember doing this, go doing that. And the difference between the Mets of last year and this year, and he's just started as the new manager, they are now, you know, they have been so different, taking the extra base of uh, fundamentals about, you know, uh, you know, uh, don't, um, you know, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't forget the rules of the game, what the umpires are looking for and what will what, happen. All of those things come to, these are all professionals. They should know mm-hmm. the rules. Sure. But the have you have to be reminded so you know so that's that's what that's what i say i mean i i i've been in business long enough that i can at least have a peer conversation with almost everybody right well and 
And that's important because I think that uh, what we're going to do is this is actually going to correspond with a uh, product that you've already gone through. You, mm. you actually offer, uh, which you're going to put in the description so you guys can look it up and order it. Uh, do you have it on hand? Uh, the, the yeah, PDF or this the... is the OK. Uh, mm. This is the actual, you know, um, ash can where I show how to do how I put together a seven page story from beginning to to end from mm -hmm. the first post-it notes to uh basically you know the the ending so you know, and 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 rough sketches i'll do like i'll explain you know all the various things and it's a 12 page thing that i do that i did as part of the la of my previous kickstarter or rather indiegogo campaign for mm -hmm. blood Winnie angel Gr chronicles but what what i've done is uh, I also have it as a PDF, you know, that you can get, right? you know, get online. So, so, so we can, and what we're going to try to do then is use that as a guideline, uh, right. as a reminder line of right. kind of where to work with and how right. to get your ideas down. Very simple way to do it as far as following a map, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's a really good structure. Um, and you guys can find out the details on that in the description so that that way, mm -hmm. uh, if you guys want to follow along with us, then you mm -hmm. hit, you can get the PDF or they can order both, right? Or the PDF or the, or well, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the PDF you can get, you know, uh, uh, uh straight on without anything mm -hmm. else of uh, actually get the actual paper one. Uh, I used, uh, it was, a, is a, uh, an add on add on perk to my Bloodwing Angel Chronicles, uh, okay. you know, which is so, in demand right now. So you know, you 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 have to go to that website anyway to get the uh, the PDF. Okay, so you can but check that out. Like I said, it'll be in the description. Very yeah. easy. Um, one of the things that I loved about uh, we had a chance to meet uh, John and I had a, a chance to meet in Lexington uh, at the Lexington Comic Con uh, back uh, four weeks ago, five weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, four weeks ago. Yeah, um, and. One of the things that uh, that John brought uh, was this book here and uh, Rough Sketch. And this is also uh, available on Indiegogo, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. It yeah, yeah. It's also available, you know, in a, in a different, uh, in, a, in, a indi, in a different in demand, you right. know, group. But right. anyway, yeah. But once once you're a fan of John, you'll, you'll find all that information. Yeah. And we'll put the proper links in the description yeah. as well. This is nice because it can go through um, and show you. Uh, literally a small glimpse of his history of what he's done. Uh, I again, I'm a fanboy, so for me to even be talking with you in this capacity is is almost mind blowing for me. And I think it's very important that we um, we as creatives in my generation know and and share who you are with other people of your same stature. That that's one thing that I really really wanted in this show. I want I want people to understand the the um not luxury but the uh the, the uh, stewardship that you you've you've we're going to continue this on this mm -hmm. is the idea and i want to make sure that and and you are recognized for the efforts that you've put forth in your career i really think that's important this book shows that if you guys get on disney plus and watch uh your boba fett animation i mean your work is it's it's everywhere as far as you can check it out all over the place but i'm again i'm fanboying here again <laughs> Um, today pretty much was the introduction though. We're just trying to give mm -hmm. you an overview of what we're trying to accomplish. Right. Um, the first step in all of this though, is having the idea, right? right? And, uh, what do you think is the most important thing before we get involved with all of the different ash can and the different, um, guidelines, what's the most important thing that people can do. So at the next show, our first, in, our first show, they can be ready. Um, well, uh, I mean, if you wanted to get it, it, following along is one thing, you know, I mean, you could have your P, you know, PDF there and you could mm -hmm. have that. Uh, I think, um, don't think that it's just going to be a paint by numbers thing. Um, I'm not going to show you tricks and people think that, oh, that's the trick. There is no trick. What it is, is be prepared to understand that, um, that there is a lot of hard work that goes into it. But if you can enjoy the process, you know, then the work 
doesn't doesn't phase you. It you doesn't know? burden. It doesn't, it doesn't burden, doesn't you. burden you. It doesn't. There's it, it, that thing. And so I think I think um, you know if you want to follow along, we're going to do. You know, I will show. You know, you know, uh, I've, I've broken it down the, the the beginnings of this here so that we everybody can see it. I'll I'll show images on there, but you know, to take it away afterwards, you know, getting a PDF that's fine. You know, that way you you can have that already. Um, but um, the I want you I want people also know that everything that we talk about is relatable and usable whether you are doing comic books, animation, it, it screenplays, film, um, and novels, because, you know, um, you, everything is a certain kind of visualization. And mm -hmm. that is, you, if you can't think visually, then how are you going to put it into words? You know, and so uh, what, you know, character development, tone of what you're writing about the worlds that you're writing mm -hmm. about they're all you know important in whatever way medium that you're using whether it being a verbal or or it's or, or a visual so okay. you know Got it. think think in those terms that it's not just about comic books right right that, 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 I, think I want people coming in saying, oh, you're not going to do comic books and you're not doing, you know, uh, ninjas, uh, you know, uh, female ninjas <laughs> of, of flashing their, you know, uh, yeah, everything, uh, yeah. everything. <laughs> and, and, and so, the, no, this is not it. We're talking about what's going on inside the characters. And that's once you understand that, then you can understand where they belong in the world that they're in. And then, you know, how do you draw it? How do you write it? There's, there, is, there are certain things. So you know, I think the, that's the best thing when you come into this uh, yeah. the show. That's what, come in with that attitude that we're not going to just do one little thing. Correct. And in, in one of the other things that we discussed in the, in the uh, design of the show, uh, and we go back to architecture a lot. You and I mm -hmm. talk a lot about foundation. And sure. Foundation is what I think you're speaking of right now right. to get to the point where you can start building that, right. building that mansion, if you want to call yeah. it that, or that home. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we want to do too, and we and, and part of Feed the Beast mm -hmm. was um, feeding the beast a bite at a time. And right. that's yeah. something yeah. that we, yeah. you and I strive for. We, we want yeah. it so it's digestible. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. chew your food. You've always heard chew your food. Yeah. This is going to be how we're going to be setting up these um, these podcasts. They're going right. to be maybe 20, 20, 30 minutes at the most. Yeah. Uh, very easy uh, to replay if you need to or pause. And yeah. so that's, and we really want to do that. These aren't going to be three hour sessions to where you're no. going to be just blasted with information. That's not what it's about. No. And it's um, always in bite sized pieces, as, you, as we say. Right. Uh, but it's, but what, what thing is that when, People coming into it, no matter what, they're, they think they, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. Correct. correct. You know, and, 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 and that's the thing about it. Everybody says, I'm going to do a, you know, I need to do world building. And once mm -hmm. I've got that, then I'll have my characters. In. Well, you know what? You've taken on just a huge thing. And one of the most important things is to, is to just, is, is, crawl <laughs> then yep. you stand up and then you toddle and then you walk and then you run yeah and this is the kind of thing that everybody has to do and i'll, I'll put it this way when i start a new project and i've worked and done a lot of them it always even the blank page alone is saying okay what am i going to do with this well you start by thinking and that's the first thing think and write and you know and and don't worry about it. if you've got i bad ideas well they'll 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 fall off you know mm -hmm. so but anyway yeah there, there you go and, you know, well and i'm with you on that and that's and and we've been talking about this for weeks and we finally mm -hmm. um we finally got it to the point where we could do it mm -hmm. i'm excited for for yeah. this because i think it's going to be just beneficial across the board for everybody that's trying to be creative um, whether you're an artist, whether you're a storyteller, I, I really think that storytelling is what we're going to be helping you bring forth. Yes. And I think yes. that that is a, 
you know, the, in, in a format that's going to be healthy and it's going to be enough just to, you can take 20 minutes out of the day and mm -hmm. learn and then take that to your, to your uh, journal or to your drawing desk, whatever. Yep. That's what we're trying to do. And yep. I think that uh, Feed the Beast is going to be really, uh, really helpful for a lot of people uh, in yeah. whatever, whether you're beginning or not. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I want to, I mean, I really want to thank you, John, because it's an opportunity for, for me. Um, I, I've just, I've been so fortunate to get to meet you and be mm -hmm. part of this, this, I, if you would have told me 40 years ago that I would be on a podcast with John Celestri, the animator of Boba Fett, I'd say you're nuts. There's no, what's a podcast. I wouldn't even know what a podcast <laughs> yeah. was four years ago. Um, <laughs> So I thank you. I thank you. Uh, I think it's going to be just a fantastic uh, venture. And I think it's going to be a, a lot of good information for people really get the creatives, uh, you know, the creative juices flowing and people producing some work that they can be proud of. So, uh, but yeah, check out the description, see what uh, everything that John has uh, laid out for us as far as the guidelines, the map, if you want to call it that. And we will start, uh, we'll start this venture every week. We're going to be putting out uh, some more information, every little tidbit or a little bit of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Morsel, yep. I think we're going to call it that. And uh, it's going to be every every week, uh, we're going to be putting that out on a set date. Uh, we're going to check that out. We're not sure yet which date. So if you guys have yeah. any suggestions on which day of the week is better for everybody to learn, mm -hmm. let us know. We're going to do some market research on that. Yeah. Uh, but in closing, um, we're looking forward to it, right? We're ready yep. to rock and yep. roll on this. I think it's going to be a right. lot of fun. Um, and thank you guys for stopping in. Uh, we appreciate it. You can check us out on Ted Davies Artistry or everywhere that uh, John Celestri is at. And we are going to be doing some great things. So let's get you plugged in to this. Let's get you creating and let's get your stories to be told. And we'll yep. talk to you soon. Thanks so much, John. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> How do you fill in this blank page? Join your hosts, Ted and John, in the quest to create conflicts, characters, storylines, all that is needed to feed the beast.